itself is a constitutional matter. You get a feet like they did the babysitter when she busted up in there the very first day. They gave her, remember y'all remember her Tiffany, I would get yourself a public a defender and let me talk to your public defender and let me provide your public defender uh, your ammunition that you need to go and fight your charges. We shouldn't be having to pay for your court costs. We shouldn't have to. We will. We will. Don't worry. This one's running out of steam. Find us something else. Sorry. How to do it. How to do it. This girl out here on this cheap chair. Check. Okay, the old man is out there going off. What is up, turtles? Good to see everybody today. Well, it's okay to be occupied. You've probably been sitting in your house for months. That neighbor's been an ass the whole time out there. Donna, check your PayPal. Okay, thank you. Uh, just the old lady. I'm a smart ass, not an ass. Right? That's, that's, a, that's a beauty of a warm buddy. I am an ass. I'm a smart ass. Oh, they, they would like to buy you a beer. Do you drink beer? Okay. Huh? Okay. Well, what do you, what do you like? What, what They're trying to buy a guy a beer? You like iced tea, sweet tea? We just care about dead babies. Oh, no, it'll, it'll be delivered. I mean, I won't even touch it. It'll be delivered here for you. We just care about... Well, maybe you should park in your driveway. <laughs> is the girl out of jail? From my understanding, the girl I think the old man wants to jail. hang out with y'all guys. Yeah, he's he is lonely. I mean... The old man out there trying to hook up with Betty. Woo! Get back for Quentin! Did I get scared off? No, no, no. I'm trying to get back down there now. Justice for Quentin. I just woke up. I asked you to. Yeah. These people out there acting crazy. You ain't got to worry about that. We could go anywhere we can. Uh, yeah. What's his name? A.B.? A.B. Doggy. He is funny. He, he's entertaining us. I got to be honest with you. At least he's entertaining, guys. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, guys. Get him out of here. He's definitely entertaining. You don't have this much excitement out here. Usually we're staring at a, at a house. Yeah, he's making some noise. He's, he's, he's staring it up. Go interview him. What job did he used to do? They invited me over there. Okay, it's breaking up just a little bit, but I wouldn't trust him. It seems like the protesters are growing in number. When are you coming back, Dolly? Maybe tonight or in the morning. So he's actually promoting the NRA. Many of you know I love the NRA. So he's promoting the NRA. If I could not got your subscription to the NRA, courtesy from the neighbor across the street from a baby murderer. So he used to be a railroad worker, and um, so he, you know, none of you should be funny. Unable what do you mean? to see here, internet sucks. Perhaps it would be better. Yeah, no, we're not going to highway that... seventeen. I'm having too much fun here. He comes pulling up on his golf cart. Let's go ahead and remove yeah, that person from this channel. Let him join y'all. He is funny. He's making noise out here with us. Johnny's so loud, I can't even make a phone call inside. <laughs> so we just heard that it's so that he's causing so much noise out here that Leilani couldn't uh, make a phone call or somebody else. Was I able to get my ticket? Not yet. I've been looking, but I just woke up. I, I looked before I went to bed, but I just woke up. I jumped up, seeing that she was out here fighting with the neighbor, or the neighbor was threatening with a gun. So I make a phone call. So that, that'd be Booz, yeah, he's probably one of those those wash ups. He needs to be talking about what that Does he know he lives across the street from drug addict? Did you do you know you live? Do you know that they do drugs over here? Did you know that, they, that this was the party house? I mean, I'm sure you've seen it. Oh, there might be black. I don't even know who they are. You ain't never seen that baby in the road. You ain't never seen that baby in the road. He said he do not know who his neighbor is. I know him. I don't know this. Well, you the guy. We never seen that in the road. But did you see their baby well, walking around? I don't know this. But why have, about us but have you? But you're out here, so someone on Betty's chat said she would buy you a ticket. You know. Well, I mean, I don't know. I've just woke up. I don't know what's been going on in Betty's chat. I just turned it on. I can't even see the chat. All I see is Betty screaming at the neighbor. So I, I don't know. I am trying to get down there. So I'm gonna start looking again at a few for a ticket to get down there. Is everything so expensive because it's the weekend? So I was trying to. Okay, so Betty said they got me a ticket. They book in a room, and she would pick you up. <clears throat> okay, I'm assuming after this because she's out there right now. Well, that'd be cool. Hell yeah, you know if that's the case, then I'll go ahead and I'll pack my shit up and you know before you know it, you'll see Dolly. They book in a room. Oh, you think you're doing good, but you need to leave. And I'm thinking to myself, dude, who the fuck are you? You need to get yourself back in that little meth lab over there and shut the hell up. I ain't going nowhere. I just got here. Unless you buy my plane ticket back, which is about $400, right? You need to get the hell up out my face. And, you know, the thing is, is some of his people have reached out to me. Old Mac punk ass. You know, you can't put out a video without the many thousands of plays and one of his family members not reach out. Okay? So one of his family members have reached out to me. And I, I'll tell you what they said. They were saying, you know, he has a young son. That, that young son has some problems. The noise bothers him, you know? And I was really polite to their family. And I wrote them back and said, you know, then maybe he shouldn't be out there inciting a crowd of people. Because the crowd only starts screaming and stuff when people come out there bothering them or they're screaming at the house. His house is a pretty good distance from 
Belly Joe's. It's a good way. So if they're out there screaming in front of this house, they're not really, and it's not that loud over there where he's at. Okay? But if he keeps coming out there, messing with people, coming out with bats, coming out there running his mouth at me, don't know me, you know what I'm saying? Acting like he wants to fight. When, dude, that ain't what you want. That ain't really what you want. You want people to leave you the hell alone. Go in the house. People won't bother you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has the right to be out on that street. You, you see that. The police ain't done nothing yet to anybody out there other than trespassing. If you ain't breaking the law, the police in Georgia are not doing nothing to you. Okay? If you're not trespassing, you're not beating on these people's windows, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing anything. I, <clears throat> Can you send one of your 33 or 34 flavors over here, please? Can you send one of your 34 flavors over here? It is 31, baby. I really appreciate it. It's 31. It's 31. He needs a little tickle. He needs a little tickle. I don't know if I can spare one of my 31, baby. I know he was just funny. Like, this is... Don't step in my bubble. Back out my bubble. Oh, man. Leave. Get away from Betty's bubble. It's starting to get hot. You've never protested anything? <laughs> well, right now I got the eucalyptus in blue. Uh, okay. Dolly, if Dolly has way today, I'd like to know. I'd like to know when it's, it's plane's coming in. So I can go pick him up. I mean, or send Olivia and Mom to go pick him up. Send, send Mom and Olivia to go pick him up or something. Something, something. We just want to make sure that he doesn't have to spend any more money than he needs to. The boom, boom, I'm there. So, and I was so scared of flying. Right? I'm more scared of driving in the car with Betty. Let me tell you this. Betty, y'all are lucky to have a Dolly. I'm just going to let y'all know. Betty almost killed me. Okay. I have <clears throat> post-matic stress disorder from Betty. When I was leaving, Betty tried to outrun an 18-wheeler truck, okay, where the road was ending. The lane was ending, and she was trying to pass this truck, and I think that's the closest I've ever come that I thought I was going to die, okay? I'm still a little shaken up about that, and I was, and, but believe it or not, Betty didn't wreck. The truck was so close to us, you couldn't have fit a piece of ha a paper between this 18-wheeler truck and her car. Okay, and she was taking me to the airport, and I was like, I clenched on that. I was like, oh, my God, I'm about to die. I just knew I was dying. I just, I was like, this is it. I was less scared on that airplane than I was in the vehicle with Betty. Okay, that when she tried to your CFO, but I don't think taking money from the schools and taking money from the kids is the right avenue to be taking. I think that's a poor, poor decision on this county's part. But again, a lot of poor decisions have been made here. Right. You know, a lot of right. poor decisions. Right. So until we actually get this under control, this is where it's going to be. You got a lady that has murdered her child. She's sleeping in her bed. Uh, they're able That's your story. I'm sticking to it. Because she, she, she's, she was in the window. Come on, lady. Deductive reasoning. You know, there's this thing as, as common sense and problem solving, you know. She's in her bed, okay? He's trying to say, well, how do you know she's not sleeping on the couch? It doesn't matter. She, if she's anywhere in this house being able to have three three hots in a cot and not on a concrete floor, she is in the wrong place. No, you pulled the record. Try telling you. James White. Uh, yeah, they say you're, you're the absolute cutest. That's what's going on in, in my chat. Well, come on around. We need some burgers. Well, American honey, he said, come on around. He needs some burgers, and, and you know what? Yeah, old man hurting. He's an old man hurting. He's an old man hurting for certain. Somebody, somebody got to help this man old out. Old man hurting Dally, for where are your 31 flavors when we need them? Does he like blue raspberry? Cool blue. Does, ask him, does he like the cool blue flavor? You know? At Sandy Pants, on at Dolly Vision Channel. Dolly, send him your ex and get Lolo back. There you go, Kelly. There you go. I know the perfect woman for him. You know, long, hopefully he don't want to keep his pets. You know, I will send him one of my exes. Okay, I got plenty of them, but they all live in Texas. They're none of them in Georgia. I don't, not that I know of. I don't know do too many chicks in Georgia. He was a fabrication. Fabrication it was told to us that these people wanted to protect this memorial and put it under the tent. Now, mind you, this is not their memorial. This is our memorial that we set up, and we helped them move it into their yard. We never knew that they were going to hijack the memorial and, um, you know, start arresting people that go up into their yard. Right. So, had I known that, I would have told them no. Our, our memorial stays where our memorial was put. Because um, at the end of the day, this, this memorial is not for that household. This memorial is for a baby that was murdered by this household. Good point there, Bullhorn Betty. Good CPS point. before Quentin was even born. The the corner, the babysitter on the corner? No, 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 no. The babysitter that watched Zane. Well, that's the babysitter on the yeah, that's the one that was watching Zane and Q well, before. Why would I want to do that? She's a wonderful lady. Why are you doing it to me? I'm, I'm not doing it to you. I'm doing it to them. I'm a wonderful man. man. Yeah, I know. I like you. you. Yeah, I think you're funny. I think you're great. And I gave you, I gave you some water. I got you some donuts. I'm getting you some some hamburgers and fries. Blondie. Blondie. And, 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 oh, He's out there to hook up with Bullhorn she, Betty. She, she's that, down there getting her tickler ready. G give him, give him your number, Betty. Oh, all right, I'll be good. We have to do that right. Oh man, I like him some BHB. He like, hey, Betty. He's keeping us occupied. Actually, so we got a nice cool breeze out here, guys. It's it's not too too bad. Before you know. Before you know it, his grandpa's gone wild around here, folks. Grand uh oh, grandpa's you know, gone wild. You never know. He, he might start partying with the, the post shirt off. later tonight. <laughs> I don't know. He's a funny guy. I, I, I don't know. Donuts over him. Donuts over him. That's not our delivery car. Guard. That. That's not our delivery car. Look, now the neighbor wants some donuts. It's amazing how quick you can buy the neighbors off of a donut. I know. Donut. He, he is. He's, a, he's, he's actually a nice guy. He's just he's in an extraordinary situation. I think he's kind of realized now that he's out here talking to us. I think he realizes we're not bad people. Ask him uh, to work at a tennis yard. We're justice for a poor little baby that lost his life way too soon by the hands of his mother. Yeah, 
I bet if you smoke a fatty with Grandpa, he will let you drive his golf cart. Guys, if I get in that golf cart with him, I'm a blonde. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. I bet he didn't find her a sugar daddy. So we got a, another crew coming in. Oh, man, he's hit that cash going out, So we'll be here. Where is Olivia? Like, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, he's he he old man. He's ready for his date. Got a donut, some burger, and drink. He's ready for you. Bring your little thing in for the butthole. I need that. What do you say? Right. What do you say about a butthole? Ooh, Grandpa. Grandpa's making bull and buddy blush. He's making bull and buddy blush. It takes a lot to make me blush. He got us beat. He does have us beat. Be right. Face and it's only a fifteen-year-old child, but she got in trouble for hitting a window. I think that's the, I, you know what, and it, it sounds crazy, but I think that's the, the point is, yeah. is that, you know, yeah. the, 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 the idiotic things you can get arrested for in this county, but the major things you just get away with. It really is. Chatham County is, is crappy when it comes to justice for the community and they're crappy when it comes to justice for children. How, how long is this uh, police chief been in office? You know, I'm not, I'm not sure. Four years. Four years. Four years. So Four years. that means he's up for election. That means, right. he, that means this November, this police chief uh, or the mayor and or the mayor are up for election. So you guys in Chatham County really need to take, consider this very highly. What they're doing in your county is wrong, people like this. This doesn't happen anywhere in the country. I know they want to make you believe that, but I'm telling you, uh, I travel all over this country following these cases, and there's only been one other county that's acted like this, and it's sad. Chatham, Chatham County is horrible. They, they throw children left and right. I mean, they um, my husband was in the system when he was younger, and they kept sending him right back to where he was being abused at. Um, another child, not in this county, but it's, it's just as bad as far as the justice system goes there for children. Um, my mom babysat a little boy, and she was supposed to get him the next day, and she uh, she told him, well, she, he wanted to spend the night, um, and she was going to let him spend the night, but the next morning, she had some things to run around and do, and he, I mean, he was an infant, and uh, the next morning, we found out that he didn't get the night, because They need to know to meet in a peaceful protest. Uh, yeah, for the most part, it's been pretty peaceful. Um, so that's that's from that's from people. Where are you from? I live in Justin, Georgia. Just so Georgia. I drove an hour to get here. So she drove an hour to get here. Uh, she's highly upset that there is a murderer on the loose in Georgia. A murderer on the loose in Georgia. And, um, you know, her, her beautiful children are out here representing um, because, you know, she loves her kids. She loves her kids. And kids are a gift. They are a gift from God. And we should cherish them. He wants the $10 dollar he's seen now. Jet blue, reasonable. Thank you. Absolutely. You are safer in a plane than you are in a car. Yeah, you're above the clouds, so you're just see the thunder. Yes, take drone. Um, I don't have my drone up and operating. I got the drone, right? But I only have an Android phone. I don't have an iPhone. I got the worst cheap problems in the world. I don't. I have an iPhone, but it's not hooked up. So I'm thinking the hotspot to the drone, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get the damn drone up in the air. We've, I've been working on that, figuring it out. <clears throat> uh, loves. Thank you. God bless you. What happened? criminals behind bars you know and wants to do it very swiftly and quickly uh what's the delay here i have never in my life like this this is this is not how and, and the police chief knows i know what i'm talking about thank because you because i probably told him everything he's week. already been told he just refuses to listen to because he's smarter than everybody else that's what i'm getting uh from this gentleman he's smarter than everybody else yeah hey jimbo yeah what's up hey uh, not only do they like uh, you know come back that stuff and keep filling on top of it but then they bring in dirt and then just like overlay it and mix it with dirt and then do more garbage and then dirt again. Yeah, I can see uh, this person was saying that it was ash, dirt and ash that they bury it with. Mm -hmm. And other chemicals to keep the smells and the uh, other stuff down. So there's some other shit yeah. they mix into the dirt. Well, another thing is that, you know, just thinking like, you know, she probably had him bagged up and, you know, covered up and wrapped it, you know. And so I don't think that he'd be like, a, you know, bones and stuff, you know. No, nah, shit. Be like no, nah, he, he'd be, no, he'd be done. He'd be gone by now. Bugs, everything. Even, out even, if she, even if he was wrapped up like with plastic bags yeah. and shit and just wrapped up with. Yeah, that Georgia heat and bugs and shit out there. Yeah, he wouldn't stand a chance. And machines running well, over. Once, once so he say he was wrapped in plastic. He ain't wrapped in plastic anymore because he's been rode over with spikes and fucking through compactors and all kinds of stuff. Nurse well, Sandy, thank you so much. The, the layers would be uh, covering him up and insulating him, you know. Oh, no. Nah. No, nah, there's bugs all in hey, that man, shit. I, my son is uh, in Georgia right now visiting a friend. Do you have the address of uh, Quinton's house? Buck Hawk the Road. Savannah. Oh, I'm sorry? Uh, Ch uh, Chatham County, Buck Hawk the Road. Culture. All right, but I thought maybe you could stop by honk and maybe say what's up. Okay. All right, bro. All right, Take it easy. Great stream. I'm, I'm, I'm media. Covering, and it's really, really sad. Um, but again, you know, this, right, should, people, this was preventable. This I was preventable. A lot of failures here uh, that caused this particular...